Why you should always put spoon of sugar in backyard before leaving home. Why you should always leave a spoon of sugar in your backyard. If you're like most people, you're not a fan of bees. Many people are afraid of them. Anybody who's ever been stung by a bee knows how painful that sting can be. If you are allergic to bees, you know that just one sting can be deadly as much as you fear them. You should understand that bees are very important to life as we know it. They're responsible for feeding 90% of the world's population with the honey that they produce. Really, it would be very difficult for us to survive without the help of bees. Sadly these insects are dying out since it's all up to us to protect the earth and our species. There are a few simple things you can do to help you don't have to be an environmentalist, There are just a few simple things that you can do to save our planet. While you may not be able to save the entire planet on your own if we each do our part, we can protect the earth for those who will come after us. Helping the planet is why you should always put a spoon of sugar in your backyard before leaving home. There is a man named Sir David Attenborough who has spent his entire life fighting for animals, nature, and the environment. He's 92 years old now and he's been fighting for the planet since his youth. Not only is he a protector of the environment, he's also a British zoologist and author. He's also a television presenter. If you heard his voice, you would definitely recognize it. He's a living legend with a message that everyone should hear. Enborough has a Facebook page and he's used it to warn the public. He created a post that read if bees were to disappear from the face of the earth. Humans would have only four years left to live. That's a very scary thought and it's something that we should take seriously. He's not the first person to issue this warning either, but he believes it is his duty to tell us. According to Attenborough, it's not just honey that we get from bees. Bees also pollinate close to one-third of the food that we eat today. In his Facebook post he wrote in the last five years. The bee population has dropped by a third. This is a dangerous number and something needs to be done now before that number continues to decline. Fortunately, the situation is not hopeless. There is something that we can all do now, and it's pretty simple. According to Attenborough, if you mix sugar and water on a spoon and leave it in your backyard, you can do your part to help in his Facebook post. He wrote this time of year. Bees often look like they are dying or already dead. However, they are far from it. Bees can get tired quickly if they don't have enough energy to return to the hive to rest up. They can be swept away if these are tired. Bees in your home, the sugar and water solution will revive them. Simply mix two tablespoons of white granulated sugar with a teaspoon of water and place it on the spoon for the beater, each according to Attenborough. Giving the bees a way to get back to the hive safely will allow more bees to pollinate our food, ensuring our survival. If you want to do more than just put out a sugary spoon to help the bees. You can try planting flowers on your deck or balcony, or you can let wildflowers grow in your backyard, the bees around your home that are too tired to get to the hive without sustenance will get the energy they need from these flowers. Not only will they help with pollination, but they'll be able to leave your home healthy so that they can do the job that nature is assigned them to do. It's easy for people to ignore issues like this, hoping somebody else will step in and do what's necessary to save the environment and the bee population. This type of thinking is irrational if everyone has the same idea, nothing is going to change. Nothing is going to get better. But if we all do our part to save the bees, we can all help in protecting them and in doing so we're also protecting our food sources ourselves and our planet. It doesn't take much effort to do your part either. Putting a spoon out of sugar and water. It should take less than 30 seconds, and it can save the bee population in your area. If we all do our part bees. Won't become extinct, and we'll have food and flowers for years and years to come. Subscribe for more.